In this video, I'm gonna take y'all through what is in my camera bag and the best gear for sports videography in 2022. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. What is up? Welcome back. Pete here. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. My name is Pete Gotchuk, content producer for Major League Baseball. Today, you guys are in my in my living room. I'm on my couch. I'm just gonna do a kind of casual sit down. What is in my camera bag video? And that's what I take to Major League Baseball games, other gear or other shoots, things like that. I'm just gonna take you through the intricacies of what I do. I'm gonna preface this with just an important couple messages. One, this is my setup, and like I know it's not the most efficient. It could be made better. I'm not a gearhead, I don't really care about that stuff. And then two, I'm very lucky to have access to all this gear. Major League Baseball and my job allows for that. It's one of the benefits of my job, so I'm very blessed and I don't want to take any of this stuff for granted. So without further ado, let's get into it. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe too if you're not. But let's get into this. All right, this is my Pelican case that I keep my C70 components in. Obviously right now, the C70 is on the tripod shooting this video, so it is not in here, but you can get kind of a general idea of what I keep in here. C70 goes here. Right now, I also keep a rain jacket in here. We also have some gaff tape, and then this is a Canon 70 to 200 in here in a Sony case for added protection. We have two batteries right here, one chunky, which gets me through a whole game comfortably, and then one small one, and then there's one small one on the C70 right now. We have an extra road mic, which does work on the C70, although what I'm recording audio on right now is a Sennheiser, and it is way, way better. We have a Canon 16 to 35, and then on the C70, a 24 to 70. These three lenses here, 16, 35, 24 to 70 on the camera, and then the 7200 are three lenses that I use pretty interchangeably. Pre-game, other shoots like that, post-game stuff, interviews. Those are, that, that, that trifecta is like the kind of ideal lens combination for anything. You can tackle whatever you want at any fo focal length. But yeah, this is pretty much everything that's in my Pelican case. This is probably the most important thing I bring to the games, along with my camera bag that I'm about to show you. Okay, so guys, this is my camera bag and I've had this for like four years now. A gift prep, gift from my mother. It's only my second camera bag ever. Uh, it's not the most prettiest, it's not the most efficient, I guess, but I like it and it's, it's about to break, so I probably need to upgrade it soon. This bag has been everywhere with me. It goes to Bahamas, it goes London, Germany, all these places it's been. Let's start off with, I guess, the main compartment here. We look in, this is where I keep my Sony a7 III. I have an ND on it right now. This camera I use for vlogging, and then I also put it on the Ronin sometimes if I want a more steady hold on a Ronin, because like the C70 is awfully big and it tests the weight limits of the Ronin S2. So yeah, keep that in here. This is my boss's. This is Lucas's Metabones. It is a Sony E mount to Canon EF mount. It's the best thing ever to have one of these because uh, Canon glass is, in my opinion, the best, but I do like Sony cameras. So it's a, you know, gotta have one of these. Right now, there is sunscreen in here because I shot a day game a couple days ago, Braves Mets, and I did not want to get a farmer's tan if they're coming back from the Bahamas. There's that. We also have a trash bag. Now that serves as rain gear. You know, I get clowned a lot for this, but I do like using trash bags better because when you're shooting on these cinema cameras, kind of funky setups and audio and things like that, you never know how you're gonna be set up. So there's not really a universal rain gear that applies to it all. Trash bags you can kind of rip, tape, and mesh the way you want it to. You can make a hole for your hand, things like that. So I use that. These two hard drives I keep here. Now, every videographer, content creator, photographer has multiple ones of these on deck. Now, I just got this one. This is the SanDisk Solid State 2 terabyte, I do believe. I got it on Prime Day for a massive 60% off. And then this is my master drive. So this is what I back up everything to. It's five terabytes. I'll probably need a new one soon. So basically what I do after I finish a game, I copy everything to this one, label it, do everything on Adobe Bridge. Go watch that video below. And then I drag it over here after deleting all the excess files on here. So it's just a good way. Back up your files, keep two hard drives on you. You're just gonna go through a lot of space. It's just how it works. And especially with files, sizes getting larger. Also in this compartment here, I do keep like a laptop charger. I also have a phone charger right here. Bunch of little things that kind of add up and help me. You never know what you're gonna need when you're out there on a shoot or at a game or, or what conditions you're in. You, you need to have a bunch of different things on deck to be ready for. So laptop charger goes here. There is a laptop sleeve right here. 
which is where I put my laptop. I have a 2019 MacBook Pro, hopefully getting a new one from work soon. That's it for that main compartment. This is the top compartment here, which houses a lot of very important things as well. In here, I have three adapters. Now this is a HDMI, USB 2, and USB-C, I think. I don't know which, what type, blah. But like, whatever. So like, this is mainly what I use. It's for the HDMI, just so I can connect to my monitor. Highly recommend this piece of plastic. I have a SD to USB-C reader. Obvious reasons need that. And then this one is, I've gone over this before. Most important thing I use for work. It is a SD card to lightning. I basically, when I get a good shot, stick my card in here. Boop, put it in my phone, put it on my camera roll, and I upload it to our channels. This is a very, very important piece, and I probably need to get a backup one just in case, because this one's almost two and a half years old. Also in the same pocket, I keep all my memory cards. Now, I have a very, very big assortment of them. I have a bunch of micro cards, a bunch of slower, older ones that I put in Zoom recorders for audio, ones that fit my Sony a7 III, so you don't really, you just need like 150 megs a second, SanDisk, Ultra, something like that. I have mini ones that you could put in GoPros. I have adapters for those as well. This one is the most important one. I have two of these. I'm gonna show y'all up close. This is a Sony Tough. I don't know if you can see that. 300 megs a second, 128 gigs. It's my favorite memory card, really durable. It's made out of like this like metalish plastic kind of. You can drop this from pretty high and it's gonna be fine. So I highly recommend this one. In this side pocket here, I keep a couple things. I keep my A7 III charger with an extra battery. I keep an extra battery for the Rode Mic Pro. And I also keep two Duracell double A's in here just in case. You never know, like I said, you never know what is going to come your way. Oh, and one more thing, the last compartment. You know how everyone has like a junk drawer in their house? You know, in their kitchen now, stores their like bottle openers, matches, like Chinese takeout menus. Like this is kind of what this is. I have a bunch of cords in here. And this is like USB to micro USB. Uh, USB-C to USB. I have power adapters in here too. I have wired headphones, extra lens caps. You never know what you need. That is my junk compartment there. Wow, there's a lot of stuff there. We're gonna start off. I have a DJI Ronin S2. This is my favorite Ronin I've ever used. The locking capability, which is next level, changed the game. I've had this for like a year now, I think. Really love it. Nothing much else to say there. I haven't really discussed this lens very much. Telephoto wise, this is a Canon 300 mil. You notice it's, it's pretty small, it's nice and compact. So it offers a nice focal length. It's awfully tight in certain photo wells in certain situations. So, you know, I use this one sparingly. I just got it from Matthew because Matthew's had it for a long time. But I'm happy to have two options for telephoto now from MLB. And if you guys have watched this channel for a while, you know Old Reliable, the massive worst case on planet Earth the Canon 200 to 400 f4 with the extender. This is just like a colossal lens, but it, I've used this so many times. When you put this hood on, it goes out to here. It's absolutely, absolutely massive. But this is just one of my favorite telephoto lenses. It has to be because you can get up close with the extender and at 400, and then you can also go to 200 which is perfect, like it's great for baseball. So you ever get the chance to use one of these for anything really, football, baseball, any sport, this is a great lens. And finally, last but not least, my trusty monopod. This thing has shot probably all 160 games at MLB that I've shot over the last two seasons, three, two and a half seasons, I guess. For any videographer starting out, make sure you get a monopod with legs like this just to keep your videos extra steady. You won't be able to do it with one of those photographer monopods. It doesn't have legs. It's just gonna be a lot, lot, lot harder. Make sure you get one with this. It doesn't really matter. The, the more you spend, the better it's gonna be. I forget what brand this actually is. It's like Sui or something. Sui. <laughs> Sui. Yeah, this thing has got a lot of wear and tear on it. Anyways, thanks for watching y'all. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, just kind of a chill video, kickback kind of. Let me know if you guys have any questions below. Leave them down there in the comments. I'll try and get to all of them and make sure you like and subscribe again. And I'll see you on the next video.